in their most recent update, Valve have banned SnapTap, invalidated null binds, but ended up also nuking jump throw binds in the process. Now, while manual jump throws have a quite forgiving timing window, in which all jump throws will have the same trajectory, W jump throws don't have this luxury and are fully subject to subtick inconsistencies. The issue here is that normal jump throws give you about 200 milliseconds or something to jump and release a smoke, where your inputs need to land anywhere in this window, whereas for W jump throws, it literally matters how long you hold W for in order to determine how far your smoke will go, inherently making them inconsistent, since no one is able to consistently press a key for exactly X amount of milliseconds over and over and over again. Ironically, this becomes harder the higher your frame rate is, since CS2 can then pull for inputs more frequently. To give you an example, in CSGO, without subtick, every 15.6 milliseconds you send a packet to the server containing the info whether you press W or not. Whereas for subtick, this packet contains the additional information how long after a tick you press the key. And based on this information, your movement is calculated, which affects the trajectory of your smokes. So in CS2, for a frame rate of 300, or 3 milliseconds between each frame, you'd have 5 different timing windows per tick where you can press W, all of which will make your smoke land in a slightly different spot. Whereas for a frame rate of let's say 100, or 10 milliseconds per frame, you'd have one timing window you can hit per tick. Again, compare this with the linear time frame for normal jump throws and you can quickly see why this is an issue. This leaves us with two options. Either we continue looking for ever new ways to work around the issue and come up with new jump throw binds until Valve patches them out again, or deal with it for now and adapt our setup to make them as consistent as possible. In an ideal scenario, we want to press our W input and jump input at the same time, since this is the way the old W jump throw binds worked and only leaves the skill check of hitting the normal jump throw window, which is quite easy. By default, you move forward with W and jump with your mouse wheel or spacebar, which are all rather far apart, making timing them a lot more difficult than what it actually needs to be. So what you want to do instead is to bind your plus jump to spacebar and then plus forward to either the C or V key, whichever is more comfortable for you. This way you can just lay your thumb on top of this key whenever you want to do a W jump throw and just press it down. Due to the inclination of your keyboard, if you press your thumb straight down, it will most of the time input a plus forward command right before the plus jump command, which is fine. Or in the worst case, both inputs at the same time, but never ever the other way around, which is exactly what we are looking for. Now, obviously, I still hope that Valve have another look at this and either introduce a W jump throw window akin to the one for normal jump throws, or just add native jump throw and W jump throw binds to the settings menu. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope this video could help you out. And why not click the right icon to subscribe for more CS content, or the video to your left, big data things you're likely to enjoy as well. As always, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.